Well, YouTube, life has been keeping me busy and I am way behind on the edit for several videos. So I thought I'd just go ahead and kick this little video out. I'd just call it something that's like a typical day in the life, job shop type video thing. Kind of interesting, had a weld failure on a disc, which is a type of plow that a customer brought to me. I didn't actually show the work itself. I just kind of filmed what I could because it was in a super hurry. I had to get done and get back out to them. But here's just some highlight reels of that repair. And I got to get back to farm life because I've got water lines to replace. I thought I'd show you all this little emergency repair that just came into the shop. I find this fascinating. This plate goes up on top of there makes a mount for this disc gang here. But it popped off, and if you look, that bead is completely there. <laughs> and the bead separated from the metal here. And if you look on this side, there's kind of a shiny spot there, but I think that's actually from rubbing. It's shiny through there. Oh, I'm gonna knock it over. And it's shiny right here. So that's all that was hanging on to it. On the other side, matter of fact, all the way around, there's nothing shiny anywhere. This has been cracked for a very long time. You can tell that bead did not penetrate into this iron here. It was all on that plate. So that was a goof up from the factory. I find that fascinating. <laughs> I'll show you this again just so you can look at it but I mean that entire bead is there amazing thought I'd give you an update real quick here I got that ground down that took forever and by forever I mean about 15 minutes oh if I know it's gonna take that long I'm gonna take a plasma cutter to it first <clears throat> I got a scribe line here where it goes. And the back side of these things have that locator strap. That is hot with your bare hands. Okay, and uh, uh, Owie, that is hot. Okay, so it goes up there. I pull it this way until that stop back there hits the tubing. And I get it lined up with my scribe line that was over here somewhere. There it is. And then I'll uh, swing this thing back down, which I have nice and chamfered all the way around. And that way, when I get it all back in place, I will know that it's all back in place, but I'll... Sh okay, so it's in place now. Now I can uh, clamp it down to that rectangular tubing and weld it in place. And there it is all together. Um, I started doing three passes on the end here. And, well, actually, I just ran one pass. I had the MIG welder set kind of low, and I said, nah, I think this will work a lot better if I just crank the MIG welder way up and just lay in a huge bead in there. And that worked a lot better. One pass faster. So... I like that. Uh, ought to hold like, well, better than the factory one. I couldn't get clamps in here, so I ended up spot welding it in place on each side. And uh, yeah, about all there was to it. So, uh, all right, now let's go on to something else. I'll call a customer and they'll come get this because they're wanting it immediately. They gotta get back in the field.